the reason I wrote the book was because I wanted to be able to communicate uh, how to think about large amounts of data, how to think about evidence, and be able to do it. Uh, I'm not, I, I, I was, my goal had nothing to do with teaching people uh, complex statistical methods. That's a different game, and it, you can't do that in, uh, that's not for small children or uh, government officials. But you can think about things without that kind of technical trainer. In what was T.S. Eliot's wonderful words, he said, I got to use words when I talk to you. And too many people in my field forget that. If you ask quantitative questions, the answers are in lots and lots of numbers, big tables. And trying to get uh, information from a table is like getting sunbeams from a cucumber. I mean, it's in there, but it's very hard to extract. Uh, and so s data scientists who are successful at communicating information do so not with big tables of numbers, nor through equations, but by drawing graphs uh, and, and other kinds of graphical, and, and other kinds of visual displays. Because uh, with a visual display, you can see the result and not have to read it. And that's very, very important. And by far, the most important um, the most important aspect of it uh, is an attitude, and it's the attitude of empathy. Uh, and that is you have to empathize with the audience, the people who you're trying to communicate with, and ask uh, and think to yourself, what is it that they want to know? Not what do I want to tell them? What do they want to know? What do they need to know? Uh, by far, my favorite uh, example of this uh, was a letter that my son got from Princeton University. He had sent in his application uh, and some time passed. And then he got a letter from them. And on the letter it said in its entirety, Dear Sam, yes, cordially so-and-so. And, and the yes is in, you know, 28 point type. Uh, because they understood what is it that you want to know. Uh, and none of this, well, you know, our class is terrific and we're having all these wonderful things and we welcome you, you know, not any of that. And just tell the person what they need to know and that's it. So when I saw this, I said, this is so cool. The struggle, of course, was to talk about things that are intellectually challenging, but not, but make them so they're not technically challenging. And and uh, one of the things that I go through in in the book uh, is how to think about causal inference, because most of the kinds of questions that we have are causal. Uh, you know, it's nice to know that that that, that Jimmy can read uh, better than 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 Susie, but we'd also like to know why. And, and because we'd like to be able to give whatever it is that Jimmy had to other people so that they could read better too. Uh, and, and so the key uh, in doing this is whenever anybody makes a claim, the first question you should ask yourself is how can anybody know that? I, this used to be a, a homework assignment that I would give my students at Penn. Uh, and which is to look in the media, uh, newspapers, magazines, TV, online, whatever, and look for claims and try to ask yourself how they could possibly know that. So one kind of claim might be uh, talk to your uh, fetus in utero and, and that will make the child I don't know, smarter, better, better socialized, whatever. And so the question to ask is, okay, how could anybody know that that actually makes a difference? And, and so you run through in your mind what you'd actually have to do to be able to know that, that talking to your fetus in utero makes a difference. Uh, well, first you have to define what makes a difference means, so you need a dependent variable. Uh, is able to read sooner, is a nicer person, what, you'd have to be able to measure something. Uh, second, you'd have to define what the treatment is. Is it just talking, any kind of talking? Can you nag? Uh, can you yell? 
Uh, what language, does, it, does the language make any difference? You have to figure out what the treatment really is. Do uh, you have to direct it, you know, or is, can you just coo? Is that, is that enough? Uh, and once you figure out what all those variables are, and you can lay out what the experiment would have to be to be able to find that out, uh, then you can go and discover it. Uh, but you don't have to actually do that. What you can do is say, how likely is it that whoever's making this claim actually did this? And the odds are they didn't. They just made it up. <laughs>